Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Jay back at it again here with the Crimson Camry. Um, you know what I'm about, you know, straight to the point. So today what we're gonna do is we're deleting the chrome off the 2020 Camry, as you see in the description. Um I decided to get HRS uh chrome deleting kit. I'm gonna show you right here without turning the video off. Um I decided to get theirs just because um I'm lazy. Uh, I heard it was it was good quality and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's pieces of metal, um, pieces of metal overlay. Okay, so um, I decided to get theirs because I got the uh, the black, the uh, gloss black vinyl overlay from eBay. That's about thirty forty dollars, and tried it out. And I'm no pro at this stuff. And legit guys, I started it, and when I got like, I didn't even finish a whole window. Uh, one part of the window and I legit took it and threw it right in the trash. I was just like, I'm wasting my time. Um, I really didn't want to delete the chrome because I got the little, you could tell I got the little theme going with the chrome, the black and the, and the red. Um, but I plan on wrapping my roof eventually and it's not going to look right if I don't delete the chrome. So getting a kit, see what you guys like. Um, not many people have this kit, so that's why I decided to get it so people could see how good it is. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start installing and you guys, you know, enjoy the enjoy enjoy the process. We got here um pieces of metal, you know, I got three in tape on the back. Okay. Uh this right here is just like blue tape over it. Um I'm not gonna let you guys see that part yet. That's 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 the best part. But um and they also come with these little uh side pieces too. You can take it and put it like right here. So you can move the uh the mat right here too. That should be pretty cool. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with. Um, if you ever decide to purchase it, it comes with another box. And like, I kid you not, when I opened the box, I was like, um, why did they send me a piece of wood? So pretty much the reason why they do that is so that these don't break, um, cause the box is pretty thin. So you never know what happens when you're shipping it out. So, all right, so let me get back to the installation, no nonsense. All right, guys. All right, so first things first, when you're installing this, um, you wanna make sure you have alcohol and wipe, wipe it down. Uh, for me, I'm going to take out my in-channel rain guard because it is in the way of installing the, the last trim piece right here. All right, so that's easy to get out. You know, in-channels are really good. Um, I prefer in-channels over out-channels just because it looks cleaner in my opinion. I'm not gonna bother with those, it's not gonna be So yeah, so uh, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and get your alcohol, get a microfiber towel, all right? So let's go ahead and clean it off. So as we know that this is gonna go over here. Um, this is probably the wrong one. I hope you know this goes over here. Yeah, you know, see y'all can see a little bit of the black chrome right there. Alright. So then this piece right here. I feel like it goes up here. Yep. This piece goes up here. All right, so we can go ahead and start installing it. I mean, we know where the pieces go at now. Uh, we already said that this piece goes, goes down here. I got the wrong side, do I? Yeah, there we go. Nothing too crazy. Taking tape off, putting it on, just like that.
this is what it's looking like right now. Alright, so my is not perfect, so you see like that little tiny that tiny sixteenth of an inch right there. Um, you see like right here, you can see a little bit right here, but like from this view right here, you can't see it. Alright, so if you're someone who's like really into details like I am, uh I mean, I'm into details, but like something like that is not really going to bother me. Um, it's about the bigger picture. Okay. This one came out clean. As you can see, you can't see nothing. All right. One more piece until we show the final product of this side. After and this is before all right now if you want to look at the fine details uh, as I said you can see right here oh wait I didn't do this <laughs> um, you can see right here and that's really it I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm not even gonna record it because you guys get the process. It's not that deep, it's not rocket science. Um, this is what it looked like. I'm gonna show you the final product, you know, where my windows rolled up and everything like that. And then I'm gonna close it out and then we go go from there. So, all right, go, guys, it is done. This is the side I showed you already. Okay. And this is the other side. Ooh. Makes it look more sportier. I like it. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Show the other side again. Yeah, that looks way better. So, um, this chrome delete looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. So, as always, you know, guys, I appreciate you guys for supporting the journey, supporting the build. Um, you know, all the love, comments, you know. You know, all that good, all that good snazzy stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, if you guys are interested for the newcomers who is watching this video, or if you're interested in seeing more mods and stuff like that, watch my previous videos, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, follow me on Instagram as I always post stories, you know, my daily journeys of driving a car or whatever, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that's really all I got for you guys. It's a Chrome Delete from High Rev Sports. Um, it was about a hundred and fifty dollars, but honestly People think it's expensive, but I think it's pretty worth it. It's it's worth it. I'm a lazy guy um, Just stick right on no, no crazy stuff like that black vinyl I had in the beginning. Um, so yeah, so uh, uh, Till next time to the next video um, See you guys later